Onsong allows you to utilize a wide variety of different foot pedals so that you can efficiently navigate through your music hands-free. The latest pedal that has been made compatible with Onsong is Coda Music Technology's Stomp Bluetooth foot pedal. Let's take a closer look. The Coda Stomp is a compact, lightweight, metallic, and easy-to-use Bluetooth foot pedal. It contains two Stomp-style foot switches here and here, as well as three buttons that can be used to power on the Stomp and adjust the modes and functionality of the Stomp. On the front of the Stomp is an extended range antenna for optimal Bluetooth functionality, as well as a USB port that can be used to charge or power any device directly from the Stomp when you are connected to an external power supply. Speaking of power, there is a 9 volt power receiver here, which can either be hooked up to a guitar pedal board for power, or plugged into an external 9 volt power supply. Neither of these are included with the Stomp, but we will get to that in a bit. Pairing the Stomp pedal with your device is a quick and simple process. First, you will need to make sure that the Stomp is powered. Once it is, press the power button on the top right of the Stomp. Notice that the LED status indicator will periodically blink, indicating that the Stomp is not yet paired with the device. Next, you will need to open the settings on your device and navigate to the Bluetooth menu. Locate the Stomp pedal in the screen and tap on it to pair it to your device. It's as simple as that. The Stomp is now connected to your device, and you can see this by observing the now stable light in the Stomp's LED status indicator. Now, the Stomp will continue to automatically connect to your device every time the Stomp is powered on. If you ever need to disconnect the Stomp from your device, you can just go back into your device's settings, navigate to the Bluetooth menu, and tap the eye icon next to the Stomp. Tap Forget This Device and tap OK, and the Stomp will disconnect from your device so that it can be paired elsewhere. Once the Stomp pedal is paired with your device, you can easily configure it with Onsong to perform a wide variety of actions. To configure the Stomp pedal with Onsong, open Onsong and locate the foot pedal button in the overhead menu bar. Tap this icon, then tap the Pedals tab here, and then swipe to the right until you locate the Coda Stomp section of this menu. Here, you can view a diagram of the Stomp pedal. This middle button allows you to select the type of foot pedal mode that Onsong will recognize the Stomp as, but for the most part, you can disregard this button. The most important part of this diagram are these left and right foot switches. You can select either one of them, like the left one here, and browse through over 100 actions in Onsong that you can assign to this particular foot switch. You'll notice that default is automatically selected for both foot switches, which means that whatever mode the stomp is in will equate to what actions are performed. For example, since the stomp defaults to left-right arrow mode, as you can see here by that mode being currently selected on the stomp, pressing the left switch will scroll to the previous song, while pressing the right switch will scroll to the next song. If you press the center button on the stomp to switch to the next mode, up-down arrow mode, pressing the right switch will scroll down your current song and eventually scroll to the next song, while the left switch will scroll up your current song and eventually scroll to the previous song. However, in either of these two modes, you can still customize these switches to perform nearly any action within Onsong that you can imagine. One unique feature of the Stomp is its repeat button, located in the top left corner of the pedal. When this button is pressed and repeat is enabled, the action assigned to a foot switch will infinitely repeat as long as the foot switch is held down. For example, by holding down the left switch when the repeat button is enabled, you will see that Onsong continues to scroll through previous songs until it is at the beginning of this set. If you decide that you don't want the repeat button enabled, it's as simple as a press of its button again to turn it off. Let's say you want to edit this song's content while the stomp pedal is connected to your device. But wait, once you tap the song editor icon here, and tap on the screen to edit your song, the keyboard is nowhere to be found. 
The reason for this is because the stomp is currently being recognized by your device's iOS as a computer keyboard attachment. But that's okay. If you press both the left and right foot switches of the stomp at the same time, the on-screen keyboard will appear so that you can edit your song. However, take note that this also temporarily disconnects the stomp from your device until you make the on-screen keyboard disappear once again. You can detect if the stomp is temporarily disconnected by the rapid blinking of the stomp's LED status indicator. Once you are done using your keyboard, you can simply press both switches at the same time again to dismiss the on-screen keyboard and automatically reconnect the stomp pedal to your device. Pretty easy, right? It is important to note that out of the box, the stomp does not include a power supply. This means that you will need to purchase an external 9 volt power supply separately for the stomp if you don't have one already, or you will need to connect the stomp to a guitar pedal board. Fortunately, Coda Music Technologies website sells a great 9 volt power adapter for the stomp for just $19.99 US dollars. However, if you don't want to connect the stomp to an external power supply, you can also simply loosen the four screws on the bottom of the stomp to remove the bottom plate and insert a 9 volt battery that will power the stomp for up to 150 hours. Let's wrap up this tutorial by discussing the price of the stomp. The stomp is currently listed on Coda Music Technologies website for $129.95 US dollars. Compared to the price of other similar foot pedals on the market, this is a very reasonable price for an adaptable pedal like the Stomp. The Stomp is durable, compact, easy to use, and highly functional. And these qualities combined with the Stomp's USB charging port and 9 volt compatibility make the Stomp's list price an excellent value. If you are interested in purchasing the Stomp, just go to onsongapp.com slash store slash coda slash stomp. If you would like to purchase a 9 volt power adapter for the stomp, just go to onsongapp.com slash store slash coda slash power. And as always, if you have any further questions, please reach out to us at onsongapp.com slash support. Thanks for watching.